Bismillahirrahmanirrahim my dear students today we will discuss concept of heritability which is an important terminology in animal breeding and genetics to understand heritability we need to know the types of gene action so gene actions there are two main types of gene action one is additive gene action and the second one is non additive gene action so additive gene action is uh, the one where one allele adds to the effect of other allele it is basically additive like uh, sugar crystals in a cup of tea the more crystal you add the more sweety the tea becomes so <coughs> every allele contributes its effect to the overall breeding value of the animal it neither suppresses it nor enhances it it has it just contributes its own effect so consider the example of one gene which controls growth rate in cattle and it has two alleles so if we have one gene and it has two alleles then we get three genotypes a1 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 a2 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 first and third are homozygous and the middle one is heterozygous so a1 is contributing 5 gram a1 is also contributing 5 gram so breeding value for a1 a1 animal would be 5 plus 5 is 10 kilo, 10 grams and for a1 a2 it is a1 is contributing 5 a2 is contributing 10 so 5 plus 10 is 15 gram and for an a2 a2 animal a2 allele will contribute 10 grams and a2 will also contribute 10 so 10 plus 10 is 20 grams this is called additive gene action so one allele is simply adding to the effect of other allele and their uh, total value becomes breeding value of that animal for a specific trait this is called additive gene action now non-additive gene action is different here one allele does not strictly add to the effect of other so first case of non additive gene action and which is quite common is dominance definition of dominance is intra allelic interaction of genes so one gene has two alleles and if both alleles interact with each other this is called dominance and they belong to same gene uh, I usually call it a roommate effect if two students are living in one room so the effect of one student on the other it is basically dominance the dominant allele fully or partially suppresses the recessive allele in the heterozygous state so there is no interact expression of dominance in case of a1 a1 or a2 a2 their action is basically additive here but if we come a1 a2 here a1 has 5 gram a2 has 10 grams so 5 plus 10 should have been equal to 15 gram but here it is 5 gram so this is the typical case of dominance a1 allele is fully dominant over the a2 which is recessive so it has masked the effect of other allele on the same locus so their locus is same their gene is same but the alleles are suppressing the effect of each other this is dominance next case of non additive gene action is epistasis this is called inter allelic interaction of genes i say it neighbors effect so if this is one room and there is another room so the person living the next to you is your neighbor so it may have effect on you similarly neighboring genes do have effect on each other and this effect is called epistasis interallelic interaction of genes the one gene fully or partially suppresses the effect of other gene for example here we have two genes a and b and their alleles are similar a1 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 a2 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 so in first case their contribution is additive and in the last case their contribution is additive but here a1 
is contributing 5 gram b1 is contributing 15 gram so their contribution is 20 gram and a2 is contributing 10 b2 is contributing 20 their contribution is 30 grams so it should have been 50 gram here but only 15 plus 35 is equal to 50 grams should have been here but a1 allele is has suppressed the effect of b gene and the effect of both uh, alleles of b gene have been suppressed here so a gene is fully epistatic over b which is hypostatic so the breeding value is going to become 15 gram in this case while we were expecting is to be 50 so this kind of interaction is called epistasis so what is the discussion on it uh, additive gene action is sure to be transferred from parents to offsprings we know that individual effect of every allele would be transferred from parents to offsprings but dominance and epistasis are temporary combinations that may not transfer from parents to offsprings as combinations may break during gametogenesis or meiosis so uh, dominance and epistasis are not considered in our calculations because it is complicated to estimate their effects so additive gene action and additive genetic variation is considered more important in animal breeding. So now we uh, move to the concept of heritability. It is a statistic used in the field of breeding and genetics and it is defined as degree of variation in a phenotypic trait in a population that is due to genetic variation between individuals in that population. So it is degree of variation in a phenotypic trait in a population that is due to genetic variation between individuals in that population. So there are two types of heritability, broad sense and narrow sense. Broad sense is denoted by capitalized care and it is degree of variation in a phenotypic trait in a population that is due to total genetic variation between individuals in that population. So total genetic variation includes additive, dominance, epistasis and uh, heritability in narrow sense small h scale is the degree of variation in a phenotypic trait in a population that is due to additive genetic variation between individuals in that population so if we only talk about additive then it becomes narrow sense heritability and this is the most common form of heritability which is being discussed so uh, we need to have some mathematical expression here you will not like it very much but uh, we have to talk about it phenotypic variation is equal to genetic variation plus environmental variation uh, plus g into e genotype gene and environment interaction so equation is p is equal to g plus genes phenotype or performance is equal to genes plus environment plus gene into environment interaction but it is complicated to estimate g into e so we assume that g into e is equal to zero so our equation one becomes performance or phenotype or milk production or growth rate is equal to genes plus environment but genes i have already talked about genes have several effects and three types of effects additive dominance and epistasis so g would be equal to a plus t plus i which is additive plus dominance plus epistasis but we assume dominance and epistasis do not transfer to next generation so we cancel it out to zero and here we get g is equal to e so genes are basically additive g so now our equation one would become p is equal to additive genes plus environment so taking this equation further further p performance is equal to additive genes plus environment we take variance of all these things variance of phenotype is equal to variance of additive genes plus variance of environment and we know that variance is sigma scale so sigma scale p is this phenotypic variance which is equal to uh, sigma scale A additive genetic variance plus sigma scale E is environmental variance. 
So heritability is basically sigma square a divided by sigma square p and this is equation 3 which gives you the formula for calculating heritability. And heritability h square is heritability of a trait in a population. Sigma square a is additive genetic variance of a trait in a population. Sigma square p is phenotypic or total variance of a trait in a population. So sigma square p is total variance which we estimated in the previous uh, lecture which is called variance or phenotypic variance and additive genetic variance is estimated through specialized procedures we will talk about it later on. So take home message is additive gene action is considered more important than dominance and epistasis and it is difficult to estimate their effects and they may not transfer from parents to offspring. So heritability is simply ratio of heritative genetic variance to phenotypic variance for a trait in a population and value of heritability ranges from 0 to 1. Usually it is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 7. Uh, it is, uh, we hardly get a value of 0 or 1. So moderate to high value 0 0.25 or above means considerable there is a considerable role of additive genes in the variation of the trait in the population so high heritability does not mean that they are more transferable but it indicates that additive genes have a considerable role in the variation of the trait in a population thank you very much for your attention if you have any question you can contact me